Hi and welcome to part 39 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorials. And on this part, we are going to add authorization. To add authorization to our controllers, we need to add the authorize attribute. We are going to start by adding the authorize attribute to account controller. So for that, we go to the account controller and on top of the controller, we are going to add the authorize attribute. The authorized attribute belongs to the ASP.NET Core authorization namespace, so we are going to import that one. When we put the authorized attribute at the top of the controller, this means that all the methods are going to have the same property as well. And for example, when we have a method which we should not be authorized to execute that one, like for example, the login method, in here we could add another annotation which is the allow anonymous. This makes sure that every user can execute this method. But for this controller, since we are going to need authorization only when we are already logged in, so we need it only for the logout method, then we could remove it from the controller, we remove this one as well, and we add authorization only in our logout method. So this means that only the logged in users can sign out. Another controller which needs the authorization would be the order controller. So for that we go to the controllers folder and here we have order controller. We need the user to be authorized when he wants to check out, so we have the authorize attribute in here. And the same way we import the namespace. So we add the checkout in here. We don't need to add it at the last action result because the checkout complete action result is being called from within the checkout and we already have the authorize attribute on the checkout method. So let us now start the application and make sure that everything works fine. So we see that we are not logged in. So let's now try to execute a method where we have put the authorize attribute. We have put authorize on the checkout method from the order controller. So on our URL, let's write order checkout. But since we are not logged in and we are trying to execute a method which requires the user to be authorized, we are going to be redirected to the login view. So I'm going to log in. And now that I'm logged in, I can see the checkout view. Let's go back to home and we see that we are logged in. So this is all for this part and this is all for ASP.NET Core MVC tutorials. If you like what we have been doing and you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. One more time, thank you for watching and see you on the upcoming tutorials.